Marker training is the latest modern foundation for dog training. Today I'm going to teach you what is marker training and how to charge it. Coming up. So what is a marker? Marker is basically marking specific behavior when you train a dog. To understand a little better, let's go back a little bit. Get some foundation of training. When you reward a dog for any behavior, there is a better chance for the dog to repeat that behavior in the future. And the opposite, if you're not rewarding the behavior, you reduce the chances of that behavior to happen again. So, how basic marker training work? The marker tells the dog that the treat is coming. To make it simple, the marker basically marking the behavior, and once we charge the marker, this marker will teach the dog that whatever he did at that second is the right behavior. It's something we like, and we reward that behavior. Clicker is one type of marker training. Marker training can come in very different options. You can use a flashlight to mark a behavior. You can use your voice to mark a behavior. For example, I use yes. Some use bravo. You can even say the word click as a marker for a behavior. You can use anything you want as long as you mark that behavior in the right timing. The marker training can be visual it can be auditory, it can be even tactile. So it can be, you know, by touch, you can use with the e car with just a vibration to mark a behavior. You can use a visual, like I trained a, a Great Dane that was completely deaf, so I could not use any marker, voice marker, so I actually use a thumb up every time I wanted to mark a behavior. So what marker you use is not important, you decide it. But once you decide, this is what you're gonna use for the training. So I use yes as a marker for any behavior that takes one second or less. I use good for any continuous behavior or for any behavior I want to extend. And I use no for negative behaviors. Today we'll talk more about the foundation of how to charge that marker. So I'm gonna show you how to charge the marker with voice, like yes and good. And how to charge the marker as a clicker just one click. Now I've seen trainers that use two clicks. Doesn't matter, okay? As long as you do it in the right timing. But the first step is to charge the marker before you can use it in any kind of training. How do you charge the marker? I'm gonna show you that with two different dogs. I'm gonna show you that how to do it with the clicker and the voice. Uh, before you start anything, you need to decide what kind of marker you're going to use, then you start practicing. So if it's a voice marker, we're going to say yes, treat, yes, treat, yes. You just repeat it, and every time you say yes, about a second or two after, you reward the dog with a treat. Treat, yes, yes, yes. After a number of repetition, you're going to notice, yes, she actually started offering behaviors here, yes, look at the face, the moment she hears the word, yes, see the tongues came out, and because she started associating that word, yes, and after a number of repetition, your dog will find out, will figure it out that basically, if you are saying the word yes, a treat is coming. How do you charge the clicker? Exactly the same. Click, treat, click, treat, click, treat. All you need to do is to press the click and reward immediately after. Click, treat. Once you do that, number of times, your dog will learn the click means reward. Which one is better? Clicker training, other marker training, voice marker, 
we have a video just for that. So watch that video, clicker training versus marker training, so you can learn more about the markers and become an expert as a trainer. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe, click the bell, so we can produce more videos like that and help more people with their dogs. We'd love to see your comments and we're here to help. Let's train.